Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be using universe sub square to try to imagine what would happen if two universes collided and basically became one. In other words, we're going to try to imagine the multiverse that we don't really get to see otherwise. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So we're actually are currently in the process of two uh, hypothetical universes colliding and basically interacting with one another. You don't really get to see uh, too many individual stars or too many individual black holes even, but you can kind of see that they're practically uh, inside of one another at this point. And if I accelerate time a little bit more, you'll see that they'll actually become one. Now, all of this is obviously still very hypothetical and we don't really know much about um, how multiverses uh, interact or how uh, several universes can actually affect each other. But we can try to imagine, at least uh, hypothetically speaking, what may happen if a universe approaches another universe. Assuming, of course, that they are actually kind of close to each other. So how exactly are we going to do it? Well, first of all, we need to create two uh, separate universes basically close to each other and here they are they don't really have any specific names or any specific designations just two random uh, universes that are going to start approaching each other because they're actually kind of sort of pulling on one another now it's still obviously unknown whether a universe can actually attract another universe, especially in the multiverse uh, theory. Uh, but we do think, or at least some people speculate that there might be some interaction between uh, multiverses. And some people have even tried to use the multiverse theory to try to explain why we have effects that we currently think are basically dark matter. In other words, there are scientists that essentially try to explain the uh, unusual gravitational effects such as dark matter and, and a lot of other things, for example, the lack of um, antimatter in our galaxy or the lack of the unusual uh, acceleration that we sometimes explain as dark energy, as essentially the interaction between universes, basically one universe either pushing or pulling on another and producing these unusual effects. And so here we can kind of see uh, these two universes colliding and creating what might become actually one. And whether this actually happens or not one day is yet another story that we don't have an answer for right now. But you can kind of see them basically uh, smacking into one another. Now, uh, these two uh, universes are not entirely uh, similar. As a matter of fact, they might even have completely different laws of physics. So how they interact with one another is also an unusually uh, strange question to answer. But if I accelerate time here, you'll see that just like that, the second universe actually escapes now and flies away. Uh, in other words, because of the lack of uh, similar physics effects, or maybe even the lack of essentially particles that might potentially uh, interact with one another, they don't actually influence each other that much. So it's quite possible that the effects of dark matter that we observe uh, in our own universe might be because there's actually another universe inside of our own that is just invisible to us. In other words, it's just, it uses different physics effects. It has completely different laws and rules of physics. So because it's inside of our universe, we actually get the gravity, but we don't get anything else out of it. And just a few seconds ago, you may have seen what it may look like for our own uh, universe. Now, whether this is a potential explanation for the dark matter effects uh, is another question. There's probably no way for us to currently prove exactly what dark matter is. We just know that it's probably not a particle that we can detect because every single experiment we had that was basically worth millions and millions and possibly even billions of dollars has proven that dark matter is not a so-called wimp, uh, basically a particle that we thought it was. But it might be that the effects of uh, dark matter that we're seeing are because once again, they're actually gonna re-enter into one another, are because there is actually another 
a piece of multiverse or basically another universe inside of our own, just like that. But not really interacting with it. So there you go. Maybe just maybe this is an explanation that we uh, will be able to prove one day, or maybe just maybe it's just another theory that is not really correct. Nevertheless, though, it's kind of cool to be able to create these uh, multiverses and I guess just universes in general in Universe Sandbox because it's finally sort of uh, meeting its own name, I guess. Now, I've showed you in the, one of the previous videos how to do this. And if you want to create your own um, multiverses, you can just basically go into Galaxy Simulations, uh, change the background color to something a little bit more realistic, like for example, I like to use the solid, solid dark gray here, and then select uh, each one of them and just flip them a little bit. Use the rotation button right here and they will just change into these unusual universe looking balls. And here is how I basically made the multiverse. You can obviously add more if you want by clicking on the galaxy button right here and select other galaxies that you can add here. But you may also want to consider removing the uh, dark matter because it's actually going to make your game extremely, extremely slow. So I'm going to remove the dark matter and change this galaxy into yet another universe that resembles uh, something a little bit more unusual, actually. This one has very, very cool shape, more spiky than the other two. Well, anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to show you how you can create a kind of a simulation of a multiverse uh, using Universe Unbox. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and potentially consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.